Kenyatta University Ladies Handball Team, fresh from an outstanding performance at the University Games held yesterday at their grounds, were today outplayed in the league by an experienced serial side losing 24-14 at the Kaloleni grounds. Former champion serial Sue were unmatched on all fronts, were leading by just a goal at halftime as the match went into the break 9-10. But guided by an accurate Sarah Mabonga in the second half, Serials opened the gap that was never closed by Kenyatta and went on to win by a margin of 10 goals. Mabonga was on target seven times as she led the way for the winners with Rehema Asiko and Purity Mwangi adding to the tally with four goals each. Catherine Cherotich was Kenyatta's top scorer with five goals, while Celine Wabuke and Goretti Anwai added to the scoreline both scoring three times. In other matches played at the same venue, Ulinzi Sharks defeated Mount Kenya University 33-21, Kenyatta University men beat Boomerang 22-18, while NYS fell 25-33 to St. Paul's University. Meanwhile, a total of 42 teams will take part in the second edition of the annual Rising Stars Junior Football League, which kicks off next Sunday. The tournament was launched today at the Hillcrest Academy in Nairobi, bringing together various football stakeholders. The teams will be divided into five different leagues of different age groups between under 9 and under 17 years. A soccer camp will also be held at Kasarani Stadium during the August holiday, with scouts from Netherlands and Spain expected to attend. We believe in the future, and the future is the children that we are raising right now. Scientifically right now, across the world, 90% uh, of, uh, of the young people are suffering from being obsessed to the internet and the electrical gadgets that they do have in their houses. Nowadays, they want to be like Ronaldo's, they want to be like Messi's, but we have to give them an opportunity that they have to compete on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. They have to train almost every day for them to realize their dream. In last year's tournament, two players were scouted and got the chance to attend trials in Europe. The final round of matches will be played on the 24th of November, where best teams and top performers will be rewarded.